right. Uh, this is a uh, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Yeah, so I've never, uh, never beaten this game. Uh, I didn't have it as a kid. I did, I think I rented it one, at one point, uh, but it must have just been for three days or something. Uh, I don't remember getting very far. Uh, and then, uh, maybe about ten years ago or so. Uh, I did try and uh, play through it, but uh, uh, I can't remember what happened. I only got, I don't know, I don't think I got very far, and then I think I must have got distracted by another game, or uh, maybe busy with school or something, and then, uh, you know, it being in a, a big RPG, uh, when I came back I was like, okay, I, I don't know where I am or what I'm supposed to be doing, and you know, I, I always kind of lose interest in, well, especially big RPGs if I haven't played them for a little while. All right. I wonder if there's, uh, yeah, so I don't really remember the game that well. Guards aren't really trying, I think. Uh, they're gonna get fired after this, I guess. Yeah, I wonder if... Uh, I guess this doesn't have any kind of action commands, uh, like in the Paper Mario series. I have, uh, I have played the Paper Mario series, um, I probably mentioned it before during my, uh, Mystic Quest, uh, Let's Play, but, uh, yeah, when I was younger I did rent Paper Mario for, uh, at least a week or so and got pretty far in it, uh, and then, I don't know, several years ago I played through it, uh, to the end. Uh, Bowser's throne room or something. Are you really fighting on the chandeliers? I think I do remember this part. You gotta hit the chain, not Bowser. It should give you the option to attack Peach. And you could like, uh, I don't know, if she dies and it's game over or something. And I don't know, goes to game over screen. Bowser looking horrified that you like beat Peach to death or something. I just noticed the uh, the little eyes on the chain thing. Okay, they're kind of like chain chomps.
Mario must be pretty good at jumping. He uh, went pretty high there. Yeah, and then just uh, a couple months ago, I beat uh, Thousand Year Door, uh, which was also really good. I haven't played uh, any of the other Paper Mario games, though, uh, or even the other uh, Mario and Luigi RPG type games. Uh, I would like to play them sometime, but uh, I'm otherwise not really interested in the other Paper Marios. From what I hear, they aren't really as good, and they're not as uh, RPG-ish. This isn't Mario's house, is it? I guess it is. Pipe house? Oh. Okay, I guess that's, uh... Must be like uh, the inn or something. Yeah, the only other memories I really have of this game are uh, Nintendo Power. Uh, I remember it was covered a fair bit. Uh, I seem to recall there's something where you like jump on a bed or something like a hundred times and you get an item. Or maybe it was like a thwomp. I think the game's supposed to have a lot of kind of little uh, you know, secret things like that. Yeah, why is Mario's house called the Pipe House? I guess it is kind of similar style to uh, Paper Mario games. Mario's house is actually, I think, uh, pretty similar to Donkey Kong's house. They're both kind of like wooden board shacks in the forest. Which is a bit odd. I would have thought Mario would have like a, you know, a hut like on the Princess Peach's uh, castle grounds or something. I guess I gotta, I don't know, maybe it's make uh, getting the seven stars so you can make a, I don't know, like Rainbow Road or something. Thank you. 
I really don't have any idea, but I don't really care for tutorials, so... Okay, so there are, uh... Okay, uh, couldn't quite judge the uh, defense time there, but uh, I guess it doesn't even matter if I uh, whiff the attack, because uh, it one-shots them anyways. the one time uh, he bit me and did three, and then I ducked and he did two, and then I ducked on the other one and he did zero. Uh, so I don't know if there's some randomizing of the uh, damage, or if it's like the closer you get to uh... Yeah, it's like the closer you get to the proper timing it does less damage. attack thing for jumping on them. Uh, really? Okay, just one experience. I'd kind of wondered if the uh, Koopas would be, uh, you know, better. Uh, if they'd give me like two or three. Uh, I guess not. Might as well just stick to killing Koombas.
Mushrooms and honey syrups, I guess those are, uh, I think those are in the Paper Mario games, too. Uh, I don't think those are, or the honey syrups, anyways, don't appear in any of, like, the platforming ones, I believe. Kind of remember this area. Uh, I think I get the uh, Gino soon, or no, uh, Mallow. I, don't, I typically like, I thought that might give me like flower points or something, but uh, I guess not. Oh, I didn't even refill them. Okay, yeah, I, I let him hit me on purpose because I wanted to see uh, how much damage I would take. Uh, I guess the damage formula maybe is like uh, the Paper Mario games, where it is just a strict uh, attack minus defense is the damage. Uh, which I do, I do like that uh, kind of uh, formula better than, you know, the normal JRPG, like, you know, uh, crazy complicated formula that uh, you can't really uh, tell what what it's going to be. Flower tab. Uh, now does that boost it uh, permanently perhaps? Yes. Now, uh, I haven't really played it a lot, uh, but uh, isn't Chrono Trigger, uh, doesn't it also use uh, tabs for the uh, permanent stat boosting? And it's also a Square Enix game from around this time. That's another game I want to uh, get around to actually beating sometime, because I do really like it. I've just, uh, multiple times I've started it, and then got partway through, and then gotten busy, and then not known, like, which uh, time period I was supposed to be even going in or anything. Alright, nothing up there. I thought there might be a hidden block or something. Chrono Cross as well. Uh, I like games with lots of characters, so I've always wanted to play Chrono Cross, but you know, I want to play Chrono Trigger first, and uh, yeah, uh, sometime, uh, maybe next year. I don't know if there are hidden blocks in this, that's just why I'm jumping everywhere. Uh, places that look like there might be like an invisible block. Uh, 
maybe fight one of these guys first. Uh, partially just because uh, I'm not sure if there's any kind of like uh, bestiary uh, in this. Uh, so if there is, it would be a good idea just to fight all the enemies once, just so that they get uh, recorded. I didn't even have time to uh, avoid the enemy there. These guys do hit pretty hard though. Uh, they're still only giving me one experience, basically. Yeah, I would fight the Likido, uh, but I don't think I can... he's too high. I don't know if there's a high jump you get eventually. It is nice that uh, the confirm button uh, for all the other actions is the same button. So you, you press Y to like get into the jumping menu, uh, and then you press Y again to select, so you're not going back and forth between uh, uh, like A and Y and stuff. That's a nice uh, touch. No, uh, no hammering on the uh, map there. Bowser's oh, got her again. I see his brother's waiting for me up here. This.
Uh, this is uh, one of those games that it would be interesting to see a comparison of uh, the uh, Japanese and English. So I'm guessing like that line, there's probably a lot of things that are... Uh, I don't know, maybe that was like a bit, uh, a bit different in the Japanese one. Like, I could see Square Enix uh, in Japan putting in a bunch of stuff, and then uh, when it came west, having to change it all for Nintendo. Uh, although, I guess they probably would Nintendo would have been involved in the beginning, so I don't know. I might as well. Okay, so I was right, there are hidden boxes. I don't know if I should just jump constantly. Oh, is he? He's playing a video game. Uh, I guess we fill the uh, flower points. Okay, I, I must have missed something. Uh, I thought going to the right... Oh, okay, I, yeah, I totally missed the castle. I thought it would be off to the right. Mario is a pretty good mime. Uh, 
If Mario could jump like 100 feet up earlier when we were in that tower, he should be able to jump across the uh, gap. treasures and stuff, I guess. Okay, so that just, uh, I didn't have to stay at the end, I guess. That, uh, Oh, okay, so that was a permanent, uh, upgrade. Okay, that was, uh, underwhelming. said in the Japanese version. Yeah, so that was Peach's room, it's... it doesn't suit her, uh, I don't know. I don't know if she was as fleshed out at this point. Uh, I would have thought it would be all, you know, pink and stuff. He's a frog. Is he actually a frog, or are we gonna discover that he's not a frog later and he's adopted or something? I think I remember fighting this guy. Let's 
see. Okay, they everybody's got separate uh, HP and experience and everything levels. Right. Might just try and get Mario one more level before I fight him. Assuming these guys still give uh, one experience each. I don't know if it'll decrease as I gain levels. Two experience. Okay. Even though there was three of them. I don't know if that's... Uh... Yeah. Right, got some of these and... We get crumbling. Oh, I didn't see how much experience I got there. Uh, Seven thirteen. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose I've got a lot of healing items if uh, it ends up being a tough fight. Should do it for Mario. I guess I didn't have. I was gonna say if I should have bought the pants from Aloe, but uh, I didn't have enough coins, anyways. Alright, I hope he revives with like one HP or something. Okay, that's good. Uh, can he. Uh, he's got no heal. I guess I'll heal Mallow.
know what's going on with Mallow. That's like a attack down or something. Well, that'll be Mario's level. I guess he should hopefully heal. Okay, I can I can click and see what it's gonna do. Uh, I'm not sure which is best. Uh, I guess maybe attack. Oh, it boosts his defense too, which will be good in the long run. Oh. Okay. Fight. No? Okay. Uh, okay, I think I've got to uh, like, get ahead of him or something here and chase him into a corner. thinking since it's uh, almost the end of the year, I uh, thought I should, I don't know, go over the, talk about the games that uh, I played this year. Uh, I did think about making a video, but I don't know, I don't really have footage of most of them. And, uh, a lot of them are Switch games, which would require, uh, uh, you know, gathering up all the carts and uh, re-downloading some of them. and. My internet connection's not the fastest, so uh, a lot of them are you know, digital Switch games. Uh, Mallow should probably go for stars, get uh, magic. Uh, but anyways, uh, and I didn't want to just uh, take footage or whatever. If I was getting anything for that, or I should have been doing something there. I figured I'd probably just talk about them while doing this, since this is a this will be a pretty long game. I should be able to uh, talk about everything because uh, I did play quite a few games this year, uh, and I didn't want to just you know start talking about them in the middle of like a you know an hour long platformer game or something, and then have it split up over several games or something. Uh, this way, I think I should be able to get through them all now. So yeah, I do typically keep a list of all the games I play each year. Uh, uh, yeah, sorted by console and everything. Alright, so this is the part where I've got to uh, sneak up on them. Yeah, anyway, so starting with the uh, PC games, uh, it looks like I only played 
two PC exclusives, or like two actual PC games. Uh, I played lots of uh, emulated games on my PC, but uh, uh, only the two uh, actual ones. I don't know what the uh, correct time to block on that is. Uh, anyways, the two I played through were uh, Warhammer Total War 2 and uh, Besiege. Uh, I played through Warhammer Total War 1 last year. Uh, yeah, I, uh, back when I was in like middle school and then, uh, high school, uh, I played uh, Warhammer a lot. Sure, what I gotta do? Do I gotta uh, sneak up on him or? Or do I, I just gotta keep catching him or something? Anyways, yeah, I played a lot of Warhammer uh, I was in middle school and early high school. Uh, it kind of died off around here. Uh, you know, all the game stores kind of started closing or, you know, shrinking or whatever. And uh, the gaming group kind of got smaller and smaller. Okay, so he is, uh, he's changing what he's saying each time I touch him. Uh, so anyways, I kind of ended up, uh, you know, not, not playing anymore. save his for healing rain. Uh, I stopped playing really and uh, uh, but I still kind of you know I still like the models and everything. Uh, oh he's got a pick. Okay. Uh, and so yeah when I I don't know I didn't really know about the Total War game and then I think I, I noticed it on sale or something uh, about a year ago. Uh, so I got it, played through, uh, and then after I beat, I just played through one, uh, once, just as, like, the Empire, and then... Okay, that's bad. here. Oh, can I, uh, I can't do it on Mallow. I could see this being the spot where I decided to quit before.
Oh, I hope the save spot was pretty close to uh, him. in this area. Okay, I, I go through here and then uh, the next room is his. I'm supposed to like just grind a bit more if I'm just under leveled for there, or uh, if I just suck at the uh, attack uh, action things, and I'm supposed to just be blocking his uh, attacks more. Probably the defense is worth more than the HP. get this. Oh! Level up. Okay, I... You must get experience when that's happening. Okay. Well, that's nice, then. Yeah, probably a good thing that happened, then. I wouldn't have caught that. I was gonna say I'll grind another level, but uh, it'd take like 20 battles to get there. Okay, so I just gotta wait for him to uh, turn around and then I just run up and grab him. Alright, I'm gonna... 
concentrate and stuff on this. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to beat him this time. Uh, probably just keep jumping. I just bought Thunderbolt. He may not live long enough to heal, plus I've got the mushrooms anyways. Yeah, I'm curious how much HP he's got, it would be nice to know that. I guess if he keeps hitting Mallow, Mallow keeps healing, Mario keeps hitting him, I'll win eventually. I just can't get the timing for that. Oh. They share flower points. There's uh, no point in having Mallow uh, attack. He just does too little damage. Good. I hope that's it. That was close. Yeah, so about the uh, I don't know, Warhammer Total War, yeah, I beat the Empire uh, campaign in one, and then uh, started playing two. Uh, and I ended up beating, I don't know, I played through it a couple times, and uh, I think I did uh, Beastmen, Tomb Kings, uh, who else? Uh, I played through Dwarves a little bit, and then got game over, and quit. Uh, uh, yeah, 
uh, if you don't, if you haven't played that before, uh, a single playthrough takes a really long time, like uh, 40 hours at least. So I've played through that a couple times. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, I do find the start of the game is extremely difficult. There's like a very good chance that, you know, 10 hours in, you'll just, you know, get screwed up and uh, have to restart. Or like save scum. Uh, oh, uh, Lizard Men, I played through them as well. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, I think. Yeah, ha having to, you know, uh, get over the start of it is always, I don't know, a bother. I think every time I started a new race, uh, I would get at least one game over, uh, where I would just, you know, every, uh, something goes wrong and all your cities start falling one by one and all your armies get wiped out. But yeah, it's uh, pretty fun. Uh, the oh yeah, Mallow is really weak when it comes to that. Uh, no, he just doesn't have. Uh, it's because he doesn't have a weapon, and he'll get better when he does. Is there any reason not to use these? Uh, maybe I should have been saving them uh, and just using them when I need to refill my flowers. Because they also, they increase my max, but they also, uh, you know, healed to max as well. So after, aside from uh, Warhammer Total War, uh, I also played uh, Besiege, uh, which is a pretty fun game. Uh, it's on Steam. Uh, you basically you make like a war machine for destroying a castle, uh, but it's all like physics based. Uh, so you know there'll be some arrangement of like blocks or a tower or whatever, and uh, you make some like machine that you have to then uh, destroy the tower with or the castle with. Uh, and you've got you know, different parts you can use, uh, you know, weapons and different joints and stuff. So you you actually make it like right down to like the joints and the wheels and springs and stuff. So that's a, I don't know, it's pretty fun. You make all kinds of crazy things. Uh, you can even make like flying machines and stuff, though uh, I was never able to make like a good one. Uh, all of mine were basically, I don't know, a hot air balloon with like a bunch of bombs on it or something like that. Uh, but I've seen people, they can make like airplanes and stuff like that. Uh, I, I was never able to get that going. Even like the hot air balloons were difficult because uh, you've got the problem where like when you drop your bombs, like now the weight's off and you start like spir spiraling out of control or whatever. Uh, or while you're flying around, the bombs like shift around and bump into each other and blow up. And, uh, you know, and if you've got like guns or whatever on it, then. Uh, Uh, yeah, if you got guns and they end up pushing you off uh, when you fire them and then you go, you know, you fire them once and then you go spinning around and uh, 
uh, get all messed up, so it's it's pretty difficult to make like a good machine. Uh, but it is pretty easy. Also, it's uh, you know doing designing some fancy machine is difficult, but if you just want to beat it, most of them can be beaten by you know just kind of cheesing it with like. Uh, uh, you know, like, you aren't limited in how many parts you use, aside from, like, they can't fill, you know, they can't go over the certain space. But aside from that, you can just stack as many things as you want. Uh, so I beat more than a few just by, uh, just filling the build area with bombs and then putting a bunch of, like, uh, you know, metal pieces and stuff in front of them. So then, uh, as soon as it starts, the bombs would all explode and spray the metal everywhere and... The metal would go flying and just destroy everything. I hope I should get to the store and I guess there wasn't any weapon for Mallow. But it yeah, it would be really nice if he didn't have to use flower points basically to attack. Yeah, so I would do that, just make like a big bomb that just, you know, wipe everything out, or, uh... Yeah, I, sometimes I would make like a hot air balloon that would just kind of drift around, and it would have like a couple propellers to... Uh, yeah, I'd make like just a hot air balloon that would float around and uh, kind of drop some bombs or you know spray a flamethrower everywhere. Uh, I think another thing was just make like a little kind of like tank with like uh, flamethrowers on it and just kind of drive around toasting everything. Probably get one of them. Two of them. Mallow could get some pants. Might as well get that. More mushrooms. Yeah, so that was pretty fun. I I recommend it. It's not very expensive. Uh, you know, it's, I think it's an indie game. It's like ten bucks or twenty bucks or something. But uh, you know, it does have like the main kind of campaign where you go through and do certain you know, specific missions. So uh, you know, I don't really typically care for just open creating games like Minecraft or whatever. Uh, but it also does have uh, you know a creative mode or whatever if you want. So it's uh, good either way. Uh, that was all of the PC only games that I uh, beat this year. Uh, I did also, uh, recently I have been playing uh, Pixel Ripped 1992, I believe it is. Oh, uh, I messed up. I meant Thunderbolt there. Oh well. Uh, there are two Pixel Ripped games on Steam. Uh, uh, I'm playing the later one. Uh, they're basically they're VR games, uh, and I've got the Samsung Odyssey uh, Plus. Uh, I wasn't playing it for a while because, uh, uh, I was having kind of two problems with it. Uh, the one is that the, uh, the headphones on the Odyssey Plus are not very good. They're, uh, these kind of like little ear flap things, they look like, I don't know, cheap earmuffs or whatever, they just kind of cover, go over your, like, they don't surround your ears, they go, they sit on top of them, basically, they look like, you know, cheap dollar store, uh, headphones or whatever, uh, so they don't sound very good, and, uh, you know, they don't block out outside sound at all, uh, and they're also, 
they're like hard attached to the headset. You can't really adjust them very much. You can you know, move them back and forth and up and down a little bit. But I found they didn't really, I couldn't get them into a really good position. Like they weren't long enough to go down to where my ears were. Uh, and so that was, I don't know. Uh, you know, there was no uh, 3.5 jack or anything. Uh, so that was kind of annoying. Uh, you know, you can use like Bluetooth or whatever, you just set your PC to output to the Bluetooth instead of uh, to those ones, but like they physically are in the way, like you can't wear head headsets over them. Uh, and I don't have any like good Bluetooth uh, earbuds or anything. Uh, so, but finally recently I just got sick of that and uh, you know, I kind of looked up a teardown of the headset uh, ended up finding out that it is a it's actually very easy to just uh, remove them. Uh, you just take out one screw and then uh, kind of the little protector flap comes off. Uh, and from there there's two more screws and then the whole uh, kind of headset or earphone arm assembly will come off. Uh, and then you can just uh, cut the uh, audio wire. Uh, fortunately, it's just audio. It's just two wires inside one wire. Uh, there's no uh, you know, digital signals or anything. Uh, and then the whole uh, you know earpiece will come off. Uh, and then you've just got to put like a tiny screw in to hold things in place uh, instead of the headset. Probably better just thunderbolt those guys. I take a lot of damage otherwise. They take like three hits each. Uh, yeah, so I recently did that, and now like my Bluetooth uh, headphones will fit over them. I don't know if I should just be killing all these guys, or, or what. Because I noticed some of them did give me flower tabs, so I don't know if those are like a limited you know, commodity, if I want to be making sure I get every single one, always. Or if it's okay to just kill some and come back and get them later, or something. So anyways, after doing that, like, it's much better, uh, I get to use, you know, use my Bluetooth headphones, and, uh, uh they, they've got noise cancelling and everything, they, they pretty much block out all the sound. Uh, and then the other problem I was having was that, uh, the... They don't really... I don't know, I, I found they were kind of blurry, like it was you know, putting a bit of strain on my eyes, uh, which is a problem I didn't have with the uh, PSVR. Uh, and so I didn't... I don't know, I, it, it always kind of dissuaded me from using it, but... Uh, uh, for some reason, like I wasn't using my glasses when I was playing. Uh, and then, because I don't use them on like, the PSVR and it's fine. Uh, plus, uh, that was the other problem with the headphones uh, on that. They like, they get in the way when you're trying to put on the headset if you've got glasses. Uh, so that was another thing, was like putting it on, you know, you have to kind of like pull them out of the way and then put your head in and slide your glasses in and it was just a bother. Uh, so I wasn't wearing my glasses, but then, you know, after I did that, I tried wearing my glasses, and, uh, they fit in fine without the headphones in the way. Uh, and I find it, it makes it much less blurry, and, you know, my eyes don't hurt as much. Uh, it's still not as comfortable as the PSVR, but, uh, it is sharper anyways, I think it's got a higher, uh, resolution or whatever. 
Oh, plus it's being driven by my PC instead of the PS4. So yeah, but doing both of those made it much better. Uh, and so from then I started doing the... I started playing uh, Pixel Ripped. Uh, yeah, which is basically... I know it's a... Uh, whatever it was. Uh, yeah, Pixel Ripped, it's like a kind of nostalgic 90s game thing. Like, you play as a kid in the 90s, and, uh, you know, it starts off, you're in the, the living room there trying to play your game, and your mom's, like, giving you grief for that, saying, like, oh, turn that thing off. And, uh, you know, the neighbor kid comes over, and he's, like, the obnoxious uh, know-it-all kid. He's like, oh, I've... Uh, you know, my my uncle works at that company, and I've already played that game and all that. Uh, and so, like, in the VR game, you go and you, you know, you use your VR game hands to, like, pick up a controller and, uh, you know, play this, uh, kind of like, uh, I don't know. It starts off with kind of like a Zelda-style game, but uh, linear. Uh, and then, you know, later you go to, like, the store and you play, like, uh, another, uh, like, a side-scrolling game that's kind of based off of Sonic. And then there's one that's supposed to, I think, kind of be, like, Super Metroid or something. Uh, but it's, you know, it's all, uh, you know, and then there's a story about, like, you know, within the game where the, uh, I don't know, the game characters are talking to you because you're, like, the chosen kid or whatever. So, uh, I haven't beat it yet, but uh, I think I'm getting there. Uh, and there's also, yeah, it's like 19, it's like 1993 or 2 or something. Uh, and there's also, like, a 1985 or something that I think is... I don't know, more kind of any NES era or something, but uh, since I, you know, I grew up kind of more with the Super Nintendo, I figured I'd play that one first, and uh, I did buy the other one, so I'll play it uh, later. Okay. I kind of thought the firewood might hit everyone, but uh, I guess not. David if he uh, brings back his guys. Uh, it would be nice if Mallow's punch would uh, generate flower points or something. Then I would feel like he was actually doing something. Uh, okay, he does bring them back. Okay, I'm just making sure I got enough uh, flower points to. Thunderbolt again. Okay, it didn't kill them. Uh, I guess I'll probably get Mario to uh, use a honey syrup. And then Mallow can Thunderbolt them again. Now, if this was Pokemon, I'd 
pretty sure Thunderbolt would uh, wreck him while he was uh, flying there. sword and he's flying, so he's a uh, flying steel type. Uh, the Thunderbolt would be pretty good on him. Uh, should probably heal. Uh, anyway, yeah, the Samsung Odyssey is... Uh, it's a decent uh, VR headset. It was only like, uh, I don't know, 250 or something. Like, it's pretty cheap. Of course, like it's not, uh, it's the inside out tracking, so the, the wands have little uh, LEDs all over them. Uh, so if you, you know, if they go behind your back or whatever, it can't see them. Uh, uh, and they are powered by two double A's each, which uh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Yeah, if you're if you are looking for oh yeah, and of course it's Windows Mixed Reality, so there are sometimes kind of uh, compatibility problems with uh, different VR games. Uh, I think you can get most games to work with it, but sometimes you have to kind of mess around, and uh, you know all the button prompts might be for like the uh, the Vive or whatever. Uh, But yeah, I guess I, I guess I'd probably recommend the the PSVR is probably a more polished experience if you're looking for like a cheap VR and you have a PS4. But uh, yeah, the uh, yeah I guess the PSVR it's got more kind of higher quality like polished uh, games available on it. Uh, but there are more games in total for the PC. Uh, Yeah, although the PC doesn't have like Astrobot, and uh, I don't think it's got uh, Persistence, which was another good one. But it does have like Gorn and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they're both good. Uh, I use both of them a fair bit. What's this? I guess going on to, I don't know, next console, uh, I've got the PS4, uh, so I'm partway through Neo 2 right now, but uh, I haven't actually beat it yet. Uh, I played Neo 1, like, I think the day it came out, because uh, I was, you know, really excited for it, uh, being a Souls-like game. Then, yeah, it was, like, Neo 1 was, you know, pretty good. Uh, I didn't really care for the whole loot grind thing. Uh, yeah, like, the, the loot grind really kind of annoys me in it. Uh, 
and it's also there's not much exploration like you just kind of go through burnt out japanese villages over and over uh or you know caves that are next to burnt out villages so uh you know i did overall like one but it wasn't like you know super great or anything uh uh, I did like, you know, the you know Japanese style with like all the yokai and stuff. Uh, yeah, actually, I really like yokai. I like watching, you know, uh, Japanese movies about them. Uh, you know, any anime that has like yokai or monster girls or whatever. Uh, and I've seen like a, uh, I've read a bunch of manga and stuff, so I really like that part. Uh, and, you know, the combat was okay. Uh, so then when 2 came out, I didn't end up getting it, like, day 1. I was like, okay, more Neo, whatever. Uh, but then I think recent, uh, you know, a little while ago, I saw it was on sale somewhere, like 20 bucks or something. So I was like, okay, I might as well get it. Uh, you know, so I did, and... entered pipes though, haven't I? Like it shouldn't, why is there a tutorial now? Uh, oh well. Anyway, so I got Neo, Neo 2, and I uh, started playing it you know, just a couple weeks ago, and yeah, it's it's fun. Uh, you make your own character, which is nice, because I didn't really see the point in not letting you make your own character, because they weren't, one wasn't like really story heavy anyways, so... Uh, you know, being able to make your own character is nice. Uh, let's see, where do I go? Oh, I might as well get in one fight. Uh, but the loot grind is, I don't know, probably even worse. Uh, there's just, uh, there's more mechanics in it. Uh, the, you know, there's just a never ending pile of different mechanics in it. There's, uh, you know, you've got your, there's like the spirit realm and uh, your spirit form and uh, you've got Anima and Amrita and I don't know, Key and I don't know, there's just endless bars and gauges and stuff and uh, you know, the uh, the items are kind of, they're the same as they were before, where it's like, oh, this item gives you plus 0.5% attack against uh, humanoid enemies when you're using a high attack with like a sickle or whatever, and, uh, you know, every item's just got like five or six abilities that are like that, and, uh... You know, I always, I look at the inventory and I've got all these different equipment, because you just, you pick up like, you know, 10 items every time you kill an enemy, uh, and so you, your inventory just gets full of just hundreds of pieces of armor and stuff. Uh, and so I look at that and I'm just like, I, I have no idea what to equip, I'm not gonna bother with reading any of this, and so I just usually just equip like the highest level item or whatever. You know, there's a whole bunch of other things, like you've got your spirit animal things you equip and they've all got different abilities like that, and and you can equip uh, like the souls of enemies that you beat to those, and they each have different uh, random abilities like that. And... I should be... I, I don't know if his hammer doesn't work on him or something. Oh, uh, and then there's kind of like a... I don't know... Achievement kind of thing where, uh, you know, if you beat... Uh, if you kill 10 human enemies with a sword, you get so many points. And if you kill 50 human enemies with a sword, you get more points. And, uh... 
Uh, and if you do like a thousand you know, fire damage, you get some points. And if you do a thousand water damage, you get some points. And if you do ten thousand, you get some points. And you know, so on. And there's just a whole huge pile of those. And then they all, then you can spend those points to get, uh, you know, uh, passive abilities that are like, you know, plus point one gold drop or point one percent gold drop or whatever. And you know, plus. 5 HP when you've got like, uh, you know, 2000 HP to begin with or whatever. And it just, I don't know, there's it's just so many things like that. It's just all, uh, I just kind of give up. I look at it, I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to level randomly. And, you know, none of, there's so many things that none of it matters. So, you know, but at least, uh, I guess that's kind of more important important for like uh, end game, new game plus kind of stuff or something. Because I'm not finding it like terribly difficult. Uh, so yeah, you pretty much can just you know just uh, equip whatever equipment you want and. Uh, uh, there's like a refashion ability or whatever uh, at the blacksmith in that where you can uh, uh, make any piece of armor look like any other piece of armor. Uh, so you can just equip the strongest stuff and then make everything look like the cool looking stuff. Uh, and I do like the amount of different abilities, though. Uh, you know, you've got your magic and your ninja abilities. Uh, and they've got all sorts of different things. Like you've got, you know, shurikens and ninja star, or shurikens and kunai, and uh, uh, you know, poison traps and fireballs and uh, all kinds of spells that do different stuff. Uh, so I like doing that even more than like the hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Uh, you know, typically I'm using like magic or sniping enemies with the bow or whatever, and then I'm only fighting them hand-to-hand -hand if I, you know, have to. Uh, now am I poisoned or something? Uh, and with like bosses, you know, typically I'll, I'll fight them normally for a little bit, and then once they get kind of down to half HP or whatever, uh, it's time for just full out, uh, you know, mashing them with uh, projectiles and stuff. I just stand back and just start, uh, you know, gunning them with everything. Should probably go full out on this guy. Mimics are typically pretty strong. Is he immune to magic or lightning or what? Yeah, which I do like that, the, uh, you know, the wide variety of abilities and how you can just uh, kind of do whatever you want in combat. Uh, just, you know, they don't really uh, force you to you know, fight a certain way or whatever. Uh, you know, there's some bosses where like you can see the humanoid boss like standing there in the distance, so you can just... Uh, Uh, you know, you use some ability that increases like your ranged attack damage and then uh, pull out like a hand cannon with like some special ammo and uh, you know, blast the boss in the head. Uh, you know, and because they're they're unaware and you hit them in the head, you end up taking off like half their life or whatever with one shot. Uh, you know, and then you can run in and uh, 
use like a magic spell that makes the move like super sluggish and then just run up and uh, stun lock them or something like that. Uh, or with some enemies, like I'll uh, hit them a bunch of times with like some fire attacks. Uh, that gets them like burning and then they start taking uh, periodic damage. And then just kind of like chase, the, uh, you know, make them chase you around while they just burn to death. Uh, uh oh. I was worried when I saw that was a mimic that it was gonna be like a, uh, you know, too bad you die now kind of thing where it would just one shot me or something. Yeah, so I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of Neo. Uh, I think I'm probably on like the last chapter. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do the DLC or anything. Uh, you know, I like it, but uh, I, wanna just, I don't like it that much that I want to do all the DLC. So I'm just gonna move on after I do that. Aside from that, the only other PS4 games I beat this year were uh, Wipeout, the Omega Collection, and Moss, uh, both on the PSVR. Uh, I would say Wipeout, I don't know if it's on PC, uh, but uh, if you've got a PSVR, uh, get it, definitely. Uh, I don't even like racing games, but uh, I think that's one of like the must-have uh, games for the PSVR. Uh, when you go in, make sure you turn off all the uh, hand-holding stuff or whatever. Uh, it's uh, it's basically like it's like F Zero kind of. You know, it's a racing game, but uh, if you're playing in VR, you can go like first person into the cockpit, and then uh, okay, I guess that's it. Uh, yeah, you can go like into the cockpit, and then you know it. You, you like lean and stuff with the car when it turns, and uh, uh, you know you go upside down when it goes in the loops and stuff. Uh, so it's really crazy. But uh, by default, it's got all sorts of uh, you know, anti-motion sickness things. Like it, it puts like a blinder on the side of your car, so uh, you know you can't see out of your peripheral, out of the car, or out the side. Uh, you know, I think it. It locks you to like a flat horizontal level, even when the car is tilting uh, and stuff like that. But you can turn all that off, so I'd suggest doing it. Uh, I guess unless you need it. But uh, I found right from the start, like when I got the PSVR, I'd never played a VR game or anything before. I went right into like you know roller coaster, uh, you know shooting games and stuff like that, and it didn't bother me at all. So. Uh, if you're like that, I definitely do it. Uh, but yeah, like I don't typically like I don't play racing games unless they're you know something like Mario Kart or whatever. Uh, and this is a you know they are like hover cars, but there's not and there are weapons, but it's not really uh, it's not that like zany fun Mario Kart. But uh, just for like the experience, I would really recommend it.
Um, after that would be uh, Moss. Uh, that's the other one I played this year. Because uh, I've been trying to kind of go through more of my PSVR games because I didn't play it for a little while and I've got most of the PSVR games, so I figured I should. Uh, and Moss was... I don't know. It was okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think it kind of hit just the wrong amount of openness for me. Uh, it's, well, it's kind of like Zelda, but you, you know, you control a little mouse, uh, although it's very linear. Like, you know, you do one level and then you do the next. It's, I guess it's maybe more kind of like Eco would be a better uh, description of like the kind of structure of the game, uh, which I didn't really like Eco either. But yeah, it's... I don't know. I wish it was either kind of just here, go play, go where you want, follow this, you know, go where you want, do all the dungeons or whatever, and, you know, kind of leaving you to it, or that it was much more like, you know, okay, you do this room and then you do this room, kind of like a platformer, like you can't get lost in a platformer. I don't know if I want to jump in there or not. I don't know if I can get back up here. But anyways, yeah, so it was kind of like Eco, where you kind of still have to think about where you're going, but, you know, you can't really explore and go just anywhere you want, so... I don't know, I didn't really care for it. Uh, I guess if you do, and it does have like a lot of like, you know, cutscenes and stuff like that, talking and all that. Uh, yeah, I guess if you do like that, uh, that kind of game, uh, it would be good to get. I think, in, I think it is on PC, so you don't have to get the PSVR. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of the good PSVR games are kind of expensive, typically, because they, I guess they don't sell as many, and uh, I don't know, they must not make as many or something. So I've noticed a lot of them, like once the game, you know, the game comes out, it's $40, $60, whatever. Uh, then eventually it goes down to twenty dollars, and then you know everybody buys it who's got a PSVR, and then uh, and then it's sold out or it's uh, secondhand for a hundred bucks everywhere. Uh, yeah, so I did play. I've played a bunch of the other PSVR games. Uh, after I got it, I played it a ton. Uh, the, the persistence was really good. That's that and Astrobot are probably my favorite VR games. Uh, the thing I'm looking forward to with VR is just normal games, like games that you could just play without VR, but you're playing them in 3D. It's both Astrobot and uh, the Persistence are like that. Uh, the Persistence is like first-person kind of roguelite. Uh, Dead space, I guess, would be. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. Uh, and Astrobot's basically like Mario Galaxy. Uh, but yeah, they're both just kind of they're normal games using a little controller. Uh, there's some motion stuff with the controller, but it's not really that heavy. Uh, no more than like a Wii game or anything. Uh, uh, but just being like in 3D and being able to see like the world in 3D is, uh, I think like that's the thing I'm most excited about for VR. I want to just play like every 3D game like Dark Souls or Zelda or whatever just in, you know, actual 3D with like a headset. I always hit uh, A there, and then it goes into the attack then. Uh, actually, yeah, that's another thing I forgot. I've been playing recently, uh, since I kind of improved my uh, headset. Uh, I was uh, 
Mario 64 in Dolphin VR on PC. Uh, yeah, Mario 64 is like one of my favorite games, and it's so nice just to be able to just like look around and see everything in 3D. Uh, it's a bit janky because it's a you know it's an old version of Dolphin uh, being you know emulating the Wii, which is emulating the N64, which is then uh, being which is then uh, being kind of like I don't know messed with to do the VR. Uh, so like the the GUI doesn't work. You have to basically like, turn off the GUI completely. Uh, but fortunately, you don't need the GUI. Uh, but yeah, it's I'm not completely through it. Uh, it, it does bother my eyes a bit more than some other games. I think it's you know the low low frame rate, uh, 20 frames per second or whatever Mario 64 runs at. Uh, and then you know it not being designed for VR. I find you know sometimes the camera kind of goes off a bit funny and like you're moving one way and looking the other and the camera's going the other way or something. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice to be able to, be able to just do that. Uh, I did try a couple of the other VR games. Uh, I mean, the other virtual console games in it. Uh, I think Mario Kart 64 was okay. Uh, they really stand like all the characters in that are flat sprites. They aren't. Uh... Oh. Okay, I'm not sure what. Uh... Said all the water has been drained. I guess it drained it from this other spot. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to re. We get that. Uh, okay, good. Anyways, yeah, Mario 64, the, the carts are all 2D sprites, so they don't look too great, but the the maps being 3D are nice. Uh, I think it did have a problem with, uh, again, the GUI, and also the skyboxes were a bit odd. I had to mess around with that. Uh, Pokemon Snap would have been really cool, but uh, at least when I tried it, it just didn't work at all. Like, the game came up and there was just, like, stuff flickering all over the place, going crazy. It was, uh, you know, it's, it didn't even reach, like, unplayable levels. It was just, you know, there was, like, nothing there, really, that you could even intelligibly see. It was just garbage flashing all over the place. I haven't played too many other games on it though. Uh, I do want to try uh, Link to the Past or uh, Ocarina of Time sometime. Uh, I think Ogre Battle. Uh, I don't remember if I tried it or not, but I wouldn't expect it to work. Uh, that's one of my favorite N64 games, but uh, it emulates poorly at the best of times and. Uh, it is also heavily uh, sprite-based anyways, so there probably wouldn't be any reason. Uh, and I do want to look at uh, playing some of the Virtual Boy games, because I haven't really played many of them. Uh, Yeah, I never had a Virtual Boy. I, I played it once in the in the store. Uh, I don't even remember what game I played. I just know I played one of them, but uh, that's like the extent of my Virtual Boy experience. I would like to just go through like all the games in VR because that would be perfect for it. Oh, I shouldn't have fallen down there. Uh, but yeah, I've just been, I don't know, I, I've got to, again, because of the, you know, the 
Windows Mixed Reality. It doesn't really... Uh, the VR, or the Virtual Boy emulator that I found just isn't compatible with it, so you've got to... I don't know, there, there's, there'll be some other wrapper program or something that I'll have to use. Uh, but I just, I haven't gotten that to work yet, but I do want to do that sometime. I guess I just saved and I need to. Okay. Here. Oh. Lost time. Alright, I think I'm gonna take a break now and fight the boss after. Plus I should probably check the recording and stuff.